All right, guys, so I've got Billy Don here. He's never picked up a broomstick before. Uh, putts with a regular Odyssey 7. He's grabbing the lab broomstick with the TPT shaft. We're going to see what it does here. Not a bad. All right, guys, some down-the-line shots here just to see what Billy can do with a broomstick. He's never putted one before. Barely lips out. We got two more balls. Big O, it's kind of heavy on the head side, ain't it, Bill? Four. All right, Bill's got one more here. Bill, tell me what you feel. Does it just feel awkward as I'll get out? Boom! All right, guys, so now we're going to switch to the arm lock version of the putter. One thing Bill said about the broomstick, I did stop recording, is that he feels like long putts. He would, he just couldn't do it. So, again, not an arm lock guy. He putts with a conventional Odyssey 7. So this probably doesn't feel totally normal either, but I just want to see what he can do with it. Oh, he's trying to figure out his speed, he said. He said it just feels a little different. This bill is supposed to take the wrist out of the golf swing. This is just all shoulders. Good putt. Oh, man, I thought that was in. So, Bill, what's the feel of this thing? This one feels better than the other one for sure. All right, guys. We had we had Billy test out the Mez Max broomstick, the Mez Max arm lock. He definitely says he'd be an arm lock guy before he'd be a broomstick guy, but. Yeah, so that angle's 75 degrees on that one. And so it's a little bit more upright. Yeah, you have to see him more upright, that putter. And then that other one's 79 and a half. Few, few more with the arm lock he's going to roll. Oh, It's going to get there. I mean, I would say all these methods here, I think, take a little time. But anybody struggling with a conventional putter, I think these are two different ways for somebody to test out. Again, Billy's not necessarily struggling putting. I just wanted him to do it so I could do a video. He was trying to hit the other ball, guys. That was what he was trying to do, if anybody's wondering. Again, this turf we're putting on, guys, this is probably not putting turf either, but just something to try to get some feel, look at. <coughs> All right. So one thing that Bill just told me is he feels like at first he was playing the putter way too deep in his stance, and he was kind of catching him into the ground, plus not getting the lie angle flat. So... Um, Anyways, Bill, roll that broom for us three more times real quick. Roll this broomstick. All right, guys, end of the video here. We're going to roll the broomstick one more time. Think about Zalatoris. Put it out front on that, you know, kind of towards that front, Bill. Lock in that top hand and just shoulders only. Make sure that club's sitting flat on that ground. Come back your chest, a little bit towards your chest. There you go. Let me tell you what putter Bill does not need. It happens to be the broomstick. He does not feel comfortable. I feel like all your arm lock rolls looked a lot more comfortable. This, the setup on this is just not for me. I'll bring that one back, brother. 
Not bad. Last ball. All right, guys, so we finished that test. Listen, Billy had probably not arm-locked or broomsticked ever. Plus, you give him one of the lab putters, which are, you know, a different take-some-time type technology. But just wanted to see a guy that was in the shop with me today and say, hey, man, grab these two, give us some rolls. And maybe somebody that just grabbed a putter off the shelf or just wanted to try something, what would it feel like at first? I thought Billy could give us some perspective. So thank you, guys. All right.